So the Trojans giving up just over 22 and a half points a ball game. St. Francis, by the way, number 18 in the nation, but giving up uh, just under 21 points a ball game. Trojans are averaging about 235 plus yards a game. St. Francis has an edge in that. They're third in the in the uh, league at uh, just under 290 yards a game offensively. Play clock now down at eight, and with seven. Again, uh, Taylor shows blitz. Here's Miller, throws over the middle, and dumps it off. Here's a spin move by Corey Appenzeller, Cody Appenzeller, and works his way across the 35 up to about the 38-yard line. Nice move by the little guy, and as a former little guy. Sets again out of the gun. Nicodemus flanked to his right, short drop. He looks, checks off, flush to his right. He runs, open field to the 35 and down to the 30-yard line. And Josh Miller again with that double threat. And not there with the passing game. He just uses his legs and rumbles for the first down. 29 on the clock. We have no score. Here's Miller. Rolls to his right. Screens back to the left side. He's got a block. And here's a run. And Nicodemus running for the first down inside the 20 down to the 18 yard line. By the way, is Aaron Harris, not Nicodemus. Aaron Harris checked in. And that is going to be his fourth catch. High snap. Bottle ball. Miller's got it now. Rolls. And did he get it into the end zone? Touchdown. That's doing it the hard way. Josh Miller getting his first rushing touchdown of the year with a high bobbled snap and uh, caught it with no fumble and uh, just took it himself. And I don't know if that was the call, the design play, but it worked and a one-yard touchdown run. This time he is lined up offset behind him. And here comes the rush. Fiddler looking and he's met at the pass. Did not get back to the line of scrimmage. And dropped right at the 36-yard line. A loss of one. So it'll be fourth down and three. And it looks like they're going to bring Streets in to punt the ball away. Working from right to left now. Play action fake. Jalen Campbell's in there. A throw with the middle. And a great, great throw right on the money to Aaron Knight as he takes it and moves it down to the 20-yard line. Now motion by Kelsall left to right behind the line of scrimmage. And Campbell runs. Looking to turn the corner at the 20 to the 50 to the 10 to the 5 high stepping it he's knocked out of bounds inside the 5 at about the 3 yard line Jalen Campbell that close to scoring and they'll mark him out of down bounds at about the 2 looking for his first rushing touchdown of the year it's a uh, delta formation Miller hands the ball to Nicodemus and no it's a Miller keeping it rolls back to the left and looking into the end zone and a touchdown Josh Miller hit right just short of the goal line Taylor Force came up but couldn't handle him and Miller a Officially from a yard out, his second one-yard touchdown, uh, rushing touchdown of the game, and that'll make it 13-0 USF. Waits out of the shotgun, and a short drop, throws the fade to the corner, looking for Lashbrook, and that was picked off by Stamps. And he's got it at the one, so it'll be an interception. That one, I don't know, it just died up there. <laughs> the wind caught it, but Stamps has got He had three interceptions last year against Taylor, and he had one last week and one today, so Corey Stamps picking his time for the snap, little movement, and he fumbled the ball, scrambled for it, he's got it, that's a loss back inside the 35 at the 34. And now they've got two protectors in there uh, for Keith as he looks, play action fake, the rush is coming, and this time he did not get rid of it, he's buried back at the 30, well, the, give it at the 40, but take your pick, as uh, Keith Harris was there, but he had help with Bruce and... And Keith looking and deep handoff, and here's a run, and that's going nowhere. So St. Francis responds with some great defense as Zach Bruce was in there. Pinched down and uh, had a hand in the tackle. That's another loss, and third down and even longer. And now they're going to move him back to the left side. Cougars get ready as here's the handoff, and uh, this time Jared, got, well, they've got Odom on a read option. He kept it, and Joey Danaka was there and tackled him for a loss out of the shotgun once again. Bobble, bobble the football and drops on it. That's the second quarterback drop today by Taylor to the wide side of the field. And here is uh, the other quarterback, Keith, back in there. Throws to a spot, and that ball is broken up, coming from nowhere. Knocked away by the Cougar defender was Taylor Brown. He got the message. <laughs> and Lashbrook was all by his lonesome out there. So he thought. Now it's a safety blitz. There's a pitch comes to Campbell working to the right side. Cuts the midfield 45 and close to a first down around the 42 yard line of Taylor. Stepped out of bounds. That'll stop the clock with a level one. And Yoder trying to make a play right now. Gives ground. Here comes the pressure. Throws to the right. He's got a catch on the sidelines at the 30 yard line. Did he get a call bounds? Cam Smith again coming up big. Well, that's all about timing. 
in the drive to stay atop a share of the Mid-East League standings. Here is a time and now it disappears and here's a dump pass near side. That ball is intercepted. Corey Stamp, did he have a foot on the sideline? Nope. He runs to the right to the 45-yard line to the 40. He's got a blocker in front. Angles out of bounds to the Cougar 33 and now a late penalty flag here on the near sideline. Boy, that came way late. First and ten. Here we go. Yoder willing to throw. Looks near side. Can't find anything. Throws over the middle. He's got Knight with a catch at the 30. Still on his feet inside the 30 down to the 25-yard line. Aaron Knight coming up big. Ooh, Kelso on motion. Left to right. And they'll pitch the ball. Here's Campbell looking to cut it up to inside the 20 to the 15 to the 10 and a touchdown. Wow. Jalen Campbell with an explosive wow. burst of speed. Play designed to sweep right. He runs 21 yards to Pater and a critical touchdown run by Jalen Campbell at the 224 mark to make it 20 to 12. Oh, definitely, definitely. And and then I'm thinking, how how is this going to be? Yeah, Campbell clearly can run the ball. It's not, I don't know, <laughs> as well as Antoine, but he has that ability. Final play, potentially of the game. Keith dropping the throw, looking in the pocket, steps up and uh, steps, throws a wounded duck up. This one is going to be picked off. As the Cougars go have got down. it, Jarrell Holman will spin down inside the 45, and that will run it out for a Cougar victory that was in doubt all the way down. Well, I, I figured it would be like this. Yeah. Really good. I mean, they're, 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 they got kids. They're class kids, you know, kids of character. They play hard. And uh, we had to do the same thing, which we did. Overcame a lot. You know, I'm not going to go into it, but you know what I'm talking about. But we did, you know. We, take points off the board. Great job, obviously, by your defense. I mean, they yeah, just... they really stepped up today and did a great job. Uh, Miller came out hot, knee or ankle tightened up. So, you know, we're back in the same mode. Hopefully we'll get him back next week and let him go as long as he can. And Dave does a good job uh, coming in. But uh, Jalen Campbell did a, did a yeah. superb job today. Uh, thinking he was in the secondary a couple weeks ago. It was a great, great day for him. So now, uh, so now everything's set up for what you wanted. You're playing for the conference yep. championship. Next week. We're playing for the conference championship. We're playing uh, against Marion, and uh, should be a great game. Looking forward to it. Uh, yeah, coaches gave us a challenge into the week, and we just got really tired of it and just wanted to come out here and show what we can do all 11. And then the offense uh, had a great week of practice, too, so we came together on Saturday and made the plays we needed to to win. Two interceptions today. That first one was huge down there by the gold line. Just talk about that interception. I just read my keys and made a play on the uh, ball. Thank God it was kind of windy, so it was kind of easy for me, So, but it's part of the game. And how, how much did that change uh, your play on the field this win today? It's crazy. Oh, uh, we know the ball was gonna hang in the air a lot, so we just gonna, we just got to judge and get a good judge on it, and just make the play that we're supposed to. And then that second interception, can you just take us through that play? Uh, we're in a uh, cover two, soft cover two, or hard cover two, one of them, and uh, I was just reading my uh, number two, and he wheeled out. And then uh, the one, I guess it was like a misread on the one and two on the offense for Taylor, and they ran into each other, and I just pushed them into each other, and he missed it, and it came down right in my hands. Felt good, you know, like you said, I'd wait for my chance, and when I did, I tried to capitalize on it. And it seemed like as the game went on, you kept on getting more powerful, more comfortable, racking off uh, more yardage. Did you feel that way today? Yeah, you know, today I tweeted patience, and that's what it was. Patience in the hole, patience on the big runs, just got to read my blocks, and then cross right after. You know, it was funny, right before your touchdown, I heard Coach D say that you were going to break one in the middle. Just kind of take us through that touchdown run. Uh, it was a 58. It has been a big play with us for the last two weeks. Saw Akeem. Read, read his block and cut. Nobody was there. 